Usually when we see people excelling at their craft, we assume it's because they've been doing it for a long time. But that's not the case from one archer from Springfield. Storyteller Aaron Valley shares his story. At Rigney's School of Archery in Sangamon County, archer John Hill knocks his arrow, pulls back, and shoots. It's not a sport he's been doing for long, only about a year. But John holds his bow with confidence. He is a natural. Uh, it was one of the th those things I got started on it, and I enjoyed it. Uh, I was fairly good at it when I started, and, and now I just I practice a lot. For John, a lot is four to five days a week. Everything and lately, he's ramped up his training. The Springfield native is currently preparing for his first championship shoot in Chicago this month. But champions need a coach slow that follow through. and a strong support system, especially John, who relies on everything but his vision to participate in the sport he loves. It's my buddy Hank. Uh, he's my guide dog. So uh, I got Hank when he was seven weeks old as a pet. And then when he was 15 months old, I got sick with posterior reversible encephalopathy syndrome, lost my vision, and I had Hank trained to help me. And I went into the hospital on a Monday, and by Wednesday I was blind in my left eye, and by Thursday of that week I was blind in both eyes. And I had a lot of time to think, and, and during that time I was like, well, I can go home and I can feel sorry for myself and, and, and not do much and just sort of sit around, or I can live my life and go out and do things, and that's where I picked up the pieces. John is completely blind in his left eye and can only see a very small amount through his right. He describes it as like looking through a straw. That's where his coach Kim Rigney comes in. She acts as John's eyes, checks his form, okay, just pulled up and anchor, lines him up, and with the help of adaptive equipment, John is able to shoot with accuracy. Good, top of the nine. In fact, so much accuracy, he broke a state record this month. It has even shot a Robin Hood. A term for when an archer splits an arrow already in the target. He's incredible. I mean, just always go and try and, you know, encouraging to others. I've always said you can't live an interesting life unless you do interesting things. Archery is one of those sports that uh, anyone can do it, and I'm proof of that. John says all of this was made possible through Springfield's Educational Center for the Visually Impaired. The nonprofit taught him how to read Braille and use a cane when he got out of the hospital. What we do is we uh, help people who are blind or visually impaired to learn new skills. Uh, we do some training and we provide resources. Sometimes we're just a catalyst to help them to know where to turn to for help. After the educational center received a grant for a recreational program, they decided to implement a five-week archery program. That's when John realized he had discovered a new talent. Now he's vice president of the center's board of directors and serves as chairman of their fundraising committee. I really enjoyed working with them. I enjoy the people. Um, it's one of those things that, you know, you lose your vision suddenly and, and you, you feel like you're the only one out there and then you meet people that are, have the similar struggles you do every day. Um, but my overall goal is, is to, to let others out there know that are, are blind or visually impaired, don't be scared. Um, there's tools out there. There's, th uh, there's people out there to help you. Coach Kim was telling me, make sure I follow through on my shot. That way my arrow goes straight. I tell the same thing to people that are blind or visually impaired. Follow through with what you're doing, so make sure you can get to that end point. Put your mind to it, and you, you can do whatever you want to do. John will compete in the inaugural Chicago Para Archery Championship on Sunday. We wish him the best of luck.